Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. This is a tutorial video for the Radio Master Pocket Transmitter. We are going to take a look at Expo and dual rates. Now these will only be set up on a fixed wing on your radio. Normally all those type of things are taken con uh, control by the flight controller and we program it in beta flight. But so this is for fixed wing aeroplanes only. Now dual rates is quite logical what that is. It means that we can say we want our aileron to deflect a smaller amount or a bigger amount and we can connect that to a switch. We flip it and the, the rates slow down. Now this can make a aeroplane far more easier to handle. And then the, the next thing is the Expo. Now Expo changes the way the surface moves. So we can set up an Expo, uh, Expo and I normally put 25%. And what it means is that where, where the aileron uh, moves, in the center, you'll have to move the stick a lot further to get it to move. And then when you go full throw, it'll go completely up. This will up or down. And this softens the controls. So if you were shaking a bit, it would the aeroplane would carry on going straight. So every aeroplane that I've ever flown, I have set up Expo. So I hope that is a good enough explanation. If, um, if it isn't, please put a question in the description below, then I'll try and help you with this. So let's switch over to the radio and I will show you how to set this up and it is quite simple. Now let's take a look at this. First thing we're gonna do is gonna go into the model settings. We're gonna go across and we're gonna go into inputs. Now you can see we've got E25 there, which is the Expo. Now I put the Expo in on the inputs. I don't normally do anything else on the inputs. Everything else is done on the mixes. Now the reason I put the Expo here is because I want the Expo to be on all mixes to do with the ailerons. And you can see it's set up for the, the ailerons elevator and the rudder. So let's go and take a look. We're gonna push enter and then we're gonna edit. And you can see, all we do is go down to our curve, change it, if it's not, doesn't say Expo, change it, go over and then dial in what Expo we want. Now you can see, hopefully you can see this on the video, this, there's, a, it's, it's, there's a clear curve there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this, exaggerate it to 100. Now, if you look carefully, hopefully you can see this. In the center, I'm moving that stick and the servo would not be moving at all. Not until I go over here and then suddenly it will go up rapidly. So that is the, that's how Expo works. Now I'm going to dial this back down. Oopsie daisy, too fast. To 25. There we go. And we come out and we would have done the same for both the inputs for elevator and the rudder as well. Now let's move over to the mixes. Now you can see we've had to add a line. So don't forget we've got two servos here. So you have to do this for channel five as well as channel, um, channel one. So if we now take a look at the first line of our ailerons, we edit and you can see it's 100%, the weight is 100%. And if we go down to the switch, we set it up to a switch. So that will operate when the switch, this one here is forward. Now, if we come out, we now have to add a line. Let me show you how to add a line. We have to push enter and then say insert after. I'm not gonna do that because it will put another line in. Then you'll come up with another aileron line. So we're gonna go in and we're gonna edit that. And what we do is we change the weight to how much we want. So if we wanted 50% throw, we'd put 50% in there. I've put 60. And then the important bit, because we are using a three position switch, you have to say not logical switch B forward. So in other words, if it's in middle position or the back position, it will always be on the dual rate, the, the lower rate that you see there of 60. So that's important because we, if you're using a, um, a, um, a just a two position switch, then you would just choose up or down. Right, let's come out. So now, if we come out of here, let's demonstrate this working. So I'm coming out to my open menu and I'm gonna find the channels. So at the moment, if I've got sounds on this. Rate profile two, so, rate profile one. So it's in rate profile one because the switch SB is forward. And you can see we've got full throw. But the minute I click or, or to here, it will be the reduced rate, as you can see. Okay, let's just go back into the model and go across. I just want to show you, I have explained this in previous videos, 
how to do this I've assigned tracks to it so I've put the rate dual rate one switch forward it plays track rates one and it uses the second uh, special function to play track rates two you just put not SB1 so as soon as it goes here so that's everything. That's everything you need to know of how to set the X bar up and the dual rates. And there we go. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And as I said earlier, if you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comments section below and I will try to assist you. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye for now.